Hi guys, it's Angela from the London Art Brewery. Uh, welcome to episode two of our Learning Swift for Beginners series. So in the last episode, we talked about constants and variables. Today, we're going to talk about uh, data types. So we covered one of the most fundamental data types in the last episode, which is uh, strings. So we declared it like this. So var my string. Uh, which is of type string is equal to a string. And we said that a string is basically a string of characters. So what other fundamental data types are there? So there's something else called a boolean um, or bool. And what this is, this is your true or false. Now, this is how you would actually declare it in uh, most other languages. So, which is of type, so variable called my bool is of type boolean um, and it's equal to one. So most languages, this would be completely fine. One stands for true and zero stands for false. But in Swift, you can't actually do that because they want you to explicitly state what exactly data type it is. And also they want to make sure that, you know, you're not getting any errors by accidentally passing in a number. So they only want you to declare it like this, true. And as you can see over here in the playground, it's that variable is equal to true or it's equal to false. Now, one of the other common data types that we have to cover is numbers. So the most commonly used data type um, to used to store numbers is, of course, a integer. So my integer is of type int and it's equal to uh, 45. So that's an integer. So what is an integer? Um, an integer is a whole number um, so it can be your two it can be your five six seven or it can be even uh, you know you can go even higher etc or it could be negative so it could be minus four six four five two etc um, however this particular data type does have um, quite a small size limit so you can actually find out what the maximum number it is that you can store within an int data type. So let's call this variable my max int and let's make that equal to int 64. So int 64 is an integer running on a 64 bit machine and let's see what the max value of that is. And there it is, it's quite a long number. This is the maximum that you can hold. However, there's also something called a uint. And what that is, is that it stands for unsigned integer. And the unsigned doesn't refer to, you know, somebody didn't sign it. It means that it can't take negative values. So it can only go from one upwards. Um, so say if you, so now say if we try to find out my max uint equals uint, uint 64 dot max. Let's see what that value is. It needs to be capitalized. Yep. There we go. So because we're no longer including any of the negative numbers, we can shift that, um, that frame of numbers towards the positive and we can store a lot more. So this number is obviously a lot bigger than uh, what you can store with the int 64. Okay, so what other ways are there in storing numbers? Um, you may have heard of something called a float which is a floating point number. So what are floating points? So it's basically anything with a decimal. So 34.56, 34.7896, etc. 
Um, and also it goes towards the negative as well. And these um, data types can store bigger numbers than integers. Um, and we can find out that actually by uh, var my max float equals uh, float. The syntax is a little bit different. Um, and yeah, so that's the biggest float that you can have. So the next data type that we're going to talk about is a double. And a double also has decimal points, um, numbers after the decimal point, rather. Um, but it's got a higher precision than float. So what does that mean? So let's declare a variable called my double, make it of type double, and let it equal something that will go on for a while. So two divided by three and you've got a number of sixes. But say if I declared my float, made it of type float, made it equal to 2 divided by 3, you'll see that number is a lot shorter. And this refers to the precision, or rather at which point does the program round up your data within a certain data type. So floats are said to have at least six decimal point at, um, precision and doubles are meant to have 15. So you might ask, why is this relevant? Why do I need to know how much precision a double has, how much precision a float has? Why do I need to change between the two? Or why can't I just make everything an integer? Um, the reason is because, for example, if you had um, latitude and longitude data, such as if you wanted to be able to localize where your users are or if you wanted to be able to show something on a map um, so you would have probably a variable called longitude um, and you if you made that of type float this is what happens you'll see that it truncates the last um, the last place and you lose that precision so you wouldn't be able to pinpoint exactly where your users are to the degree of accuracy that you would be able to, say if you declared this as, um, as a double. So then that would preserve the accuracy and everything's all good. Right, so how do we convert, um, how do we convert each of these things into each other? So say we've got a double called my double, I want to turn it into my float. So we would declare it as of type float and make it equal to float. And then in the brackets, we slot in our double and it makes a float. Um, now, what if we wanted to turn our double into uh, an integer? My int, let's make it of type int equals int my double. And there, ah, zero. So you would have thought that it would have rounded up, but in fact, it actually rounds down. So say if I had a, a 1.34, then it becomes one, um, you know, etc. 2.99 becomes two. You get the point. Um, now, what if we wanted to turn my double into my bool? So make it of type boolean. And then, as we did before, we'll put my double into there. And then you get, uh, what's going on here? Ah, okay, so I've, if you look at the error log, it says, my bool previously declared. So Xcode isn't like the fact, it doesn't like the fact that I'm trying to redeclare my bool like it's something new. So let's call in instead, my double into bool. And there we go. So it's true. Why is it true? If I made my double into 0 0.22, you'll see that as an integer, it rounds down to zero. But as a Boolean, it's a true. So basically, any number, any sort of value that isn't zero, 
that doesn't equal zero will always convert to true if you convert it into a boolean. So this is casting that we've just learned. So it's casting my float, uh, my, my double into a float, casting my double into an integer, casting my double into a bool. Um, so that concludes our second episode. Um, on the next episode, we'll be talking about operands um, and how to manipulate all these bits of data that you've now stored in your fantastic data types. So see you next time. Mm -hmm.